Hello, I am Lego Iwata. I am very happy that today I can introduce Nintendo Direct as Lego Iwata. Today we will bring exciting information directly to you. Stay tuned while I change back to normal now. Hi everybody and welcome to today's European Nintendo Direct. I hope that the LEGO Iwata managed to get back to normal for the Japanese Nintendo Direct. Now that Wii U has launched in Europe, I'm going to take a look at more details on some current and future games for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. First, as you may be guessed from our special LEGO Iwata guest appearance, I'd like to talk a little about LEGO City Undercover. Last time, we introduced you to Chase McCain and his mission to put the evil Rex Fury behind bars. This time, let's follow Chase in one of his missions in the open world of LEGO City Undercover. We are going to investigate how Rex Fury managed to escape his prison island called Albatross Island. On our way there, you will notice some characters we met previously. Bluffbeard! Chase McCain! Ah, it's been a long time! Great! The ferry! Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you? In order to succeed in his mission, Chase has to use a variety of skills. For example, he will use a data scan mode using the Wii U gamepad. This enables him to find super bricks on the map which in this case allows him to build a boat in super build mode. To get into the locked prison, Chase uses his parka skills that we saw previously and his undercover skills. When he gets in the yard, Chase might have to use his strength to keep order among the prisoners and he might get clues from new allies about how Rex escaped the prison. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. <gasps> Rex Fury? That man owes me. In LEGO City Undercover, different disguises enable you to move forward with the investigation by giving you a new set of skills. Using the robot suit, you can break through doors or crack safes. However, you will need to discover many different costumes and skills to successfully complete the investigation. So get ready to use all of these tricks and features if you want to succeed as an undercover cop in the hilarious universe of LEGO City Undercover. I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Okay. Mm. There is a lot I don't know. LEGO City Undercover will be published by Nintendo in Europe and will be in shops in early 2013. And now I'd like to show you something special. Look out in shops for these LEGO presets. Inside this, you will find a code which you can use to unlock special mission in the game. Now I'm going to do my first unboxing video. As you can see, the special code can be found hidden on the car license plate. That was almost as much fun as playing video games. Now I'd like to remind you of some of the publisher titles that are already available for Wii U. I'd like to show you a special video created for us by the developers of Sonic and All Star Racing Transformed. Let's take a look. Sega. I'm Steve Lyser and I'm executive producer at Sumo Digital. The main thing that people notice 
if not from the name of the game alone, is the game's all about transformation. So what we have is in, in, a, in any particular race, as you're actually racing around, you'll see the track transform, so new routes will open, and the vehicles will transform. What that means is, as you're driving down the road, the road could break, you'll suddenly fall into the water, and then you'll be racing on the water as a boat, and it's seamless. And then, you know, a bit further down the end, you might go off a cliff, and you'll transform into a plane so you can fly. That, and that's the main thing. If we could hang the entire game on one word, it would be transformation. Uh, but that doesn't mean that's all that's there. We've got lots of new weapons, we've got brand new multiplayer, you can play the entire game in five players per screen on Wii U. And it's got more Sega than is legally allowed, I think. Everybody looks at the game and thinks, you know, you've got cars, you've got boats, you've got planes, but it's just a bit of a gimmick, and you know, that's really not the case. In this game, you know, cars need to have tight controlled tracks so you can drift through them. On boats, you're basically working with a very dynamic surface, the water's kind of moving around, it's bouncing. So you've got to deal with that. In the planes, it's different altogether, you know, you're in the air, you're traveling a lot, lot faster to get that kind of sense of speed. And you've got that freedom to move pretty much wherever you like. Every time we do one of these games, we get a lot of interest in kind of what characters are going to be in there. Uh, and we have to try and make sure we cover the bases, not only for Sega fans, but for people who are new to the Sega as well. You can play as Sonic, you'd expect that, but also you've got his friends. We've also got some many returning characters, so there's the Super Monkey Ball characters, we've got I, I and Mimi. Also, we've got some new characters to this game, which we managed to get from the Sega Universe. We've got Vice from Skies of Arcadia. We've also got Joe Musashi from Shinobi. On top of that, we're also welcoming guest star from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. We're bringing Ralph himself in. Uh, we're super excited to get him in, we've worked very closely with Disney, they've been fantastic in support and he's got a brand new vehicle that you can race in this game. Wii U version, I, I'm so excited about the Wii U version, you know, we, we've really gone to town with this and we've tried to put in as many features as we can and really kind of support the gamepad the way we can as well. So for single player for example, you can basically swipe on the screen at any point and play the entire game on the gamepad. We've also got asymmetric modes, you know, it's got kind of one player versus many players. And that's quite exciting because that's something we can only really do on Wii U. On top of that, you know, we've got five player splits going throughout the entire game. I kind of think this is a really important feature, especially when you play the game cooperative. So if one player goes through, the other four players go through. Uh, and of course, you can take those five players online as well, which is kind of a first for this kind of game. I think we've got five players online against other players who are kind of local, you know, in a 10 player online game. It's really quite exciting. When can you get your hands on this amazing game? I'm very pleased to say that it's out now. Uh, please go and buy it. The more people who buy it, the more chance you get to make another one. And let's also look at some videos of some other publisher titles that are in shop now for Wii U. This war has brought us pain, and suffering, and loss. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. You fight, or you die.
Now that we've had a look at some current titles, it's time to focus on upcoming games for Wii U. Now to another title on Wii U that has been very popular on our Nintendo handheld systems. Today I can announce that Nintendo will be publishing Scribble Notes Unlimited for both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS in Europe. Let's look at the Wii U version now. Scribble Notes Unlimited challenges you to use your imagination and come up with all sorts of inventive ways to solve puzzles with the main character Maxwell in a brand new